Well, the Charleston Wine and Food Festival wrapped up their five day long event today, but their culinary village event was canceled both today and yesterday due to the inclement weather. Our Carly Baker has more on how this impacted the festival and the restaurants who were supposed to participate. Executive Director Alyssa Smith tells me that this year has been one of the craziest Charleston wine and food experiences that she's ever had. The festival included six different events along with a finale celebration. However, their biggest event, the Culinary Village, was canceled due to how much rain Charleston received on Saturday. Smith said that she was devastated when she had to cancel and that she had never seen that much water before in Riverfront Park. She touched on how the cancellations will have financial impacts. It's pretty um, critical for us to be able to deliver on that event for the nonprofit. Um, and then outside of that, I mean, a loss of business in the area, you know, maybe people who were coming in town who decided not to come in town because of the weather. So it, it definitely has a trickle effect, not, not only for us, but for um, the greater Charleston area. One Dorchester County restaurant, Peculiar Pig Eats, who was supposed to participate in the culinary village, decided to hand out the food they had already prepared to the community for free this afternoon. Officials saw hundreds come out and said that they were happy to be able to share the love with the community in a big way. Just giving away the food. Unfortunately, the culinary village was canceled, but we've made good use of the food and we really hope it's able to help our community. Event officials allowed people who had purchased tickets to the culinary village to exchange them for tickets to another event, even if it was more expensive. Guests are also able to credit their ticket to the 2025 Charleston Wine and Food Festival or use it as a donation to the nonprofit. Smith tells me that this is a community wide celebration and that she's had multiple people contact her offering her support and that it has meant a lot to her. Reporting in the newsroom, Carly Baker, Live 5 News.